Hey folks, how you doing? Hope you all are doing great. By the way, in this video, you guys are going to check out the best budget tripod starting with quick unboxing, overview, following with functionality and then my review and then finishing with another helpful gadget especially for beginners doing videography with smartphones for their hobby or as a creator on different social platforms such as YouTube etc. I have also added timestamps to my videos so that if you wanna skip through and watch the chapters that are more interesting to you, well if you have subscribed to my channel you may know already how well I try to look after my content watchers. During the unboxing I would like to introduce you about my channel. So this channel is all about the helpful devices or products doesn't matter latest or old and any other tool or gadget which could be useful in your daily or professional life and can save your money. Except from that, I like to help my content watchers if they need any assistance with my reviewed products including with lot more helpful tips and tricks, especially for creators. So I would like to request you guys, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing because your one click can help me a lot to grow up my channel and to keep me bringing good and helpful review videos for you guys. Now back to the tripod, so guys this newer tripod comes with a carry bag which is convenient for outdoor shooting. The complete tripod along with fluid head weighs nearly over 2kg. So it is not very heavy if you need it to carry for longer time periods. Height of tripod while it is folded is 55cm along with 4cm of head. As you can see guys the first appearance of this tripod monopod is really good. In the hands this tripod feels like really solid and durable. The tripod is made up of aluminium alloy with plastic flip locks on each leg and with non-slippery design rubber feet. It comes with fluid drag tripod head which is made up of aluminium and plastic. Top with quick release plate with the rubberized grip for devices and handle on one side. Tripod has carrying capacity of up to 12 kg. It also comes with a bubble level which helps to quickly find out the balance of the rack. Let's check out the complete functionality of this tripod along with features. By unfolding these legs, a click sound comes out couple of times which is from the top clip part which tells the first and last adjustment. The older version of same tripod had another type of joint clips which I believe were little tricky to use. Even if I extend the legs of this tripod, there you can see guys the flip locks to each leg which are user friendly and much better than the older version. One important guide for new buyers is that if you are going or planning to buy such tripod, definitely get one which comes with flip lock kind of extendable legs and definitely ask the seller if the locks are strong enough. Because there is another version which comes with twist lock legs and that sometimes can be a headache for some users. Alrighty, by opening the flip locks and extending the legs completely, it can achieve to the max height of 180cm which is very tall for me. At the bottom of middle rod there is a hook given which is for carrying weight for stability purpose. Here you can also carry a bag as well with some weight in it. This is very helpful if you are using it specially on max height. By unscrewing this part on the middle rod, user can adjust height quickly without reaching the legs again and again. So there is no need to open and close the flip locks frequently. I am about 178cm tall so this is the easily accessible spot for my eye level. That means I won't be using this tripod on its max height. Because if I extend it to the max height then I won't be able to assess the camera or capturing device. After that if you see one of these legs will appear different than another two mentioning detachable monopod on its top under the red painted stripe and that is actually a monopod with a foam grip to carry. Make sure guys before opening the detachable monopod try to open the head first if you are going to use it on the top of the monopod. Before opening the fluid head, the horizontal rotation operation should be locked first with the side knob and then slowly release the head by twisting anti-clockwise. And after that you can detach the monopod leg and attach the fluid head or any another device you are going to use on the top of monopod. Max height of monopod is 144cm but good thing is for smaller time captures you can easily lift it up as much higher as you want. 
with full functionality of lowered head increasing height according to the need and decreasing by reducing the length of monopod makes life much easier by reversing all this procedure you can assess back again to your tripod before putting the head back on the tripod make sure there is enough joint is appearing on the top of tripod if it is not looking all right you can easily open this top part and set the screw according to the depth of each section and this screw comes with two different sizes from each side one is quarter inch and other is 3 by 8 inch so that if you wanted to replace the head later on or you wanted to attach another equipment straight away with the quarter inch screw you can easily reverse it for now i am going to attach this head back onto the tripod with this 3 8 inch screw on the top and double check it is completely tight and it is good to go the functionality of fluid drag tripod head is really easy the given knobs make them fully functional according to the need these knobs can be freely pointed to any side by pulling them firmly over the covered adjustable joint bolts. Now this little knob is for locking and unlocking the horizontal movement or panning for smooth landscape recordings. On the other side of the head there is another big knob which lock and unlock the vertical movement or tilt recordings. This head is not best for diagonal panning shots but if you want you can try and get some decent diagonal shots as well. Handle of the head can also be removed and placed on any side according to the need. Quick shoe or quick release plate on the top of head has two locks. One can be opened by this side knob according to the facility. And second is auto bottom lock so that in case user forgot to tighten the main lock, then this second lock won't let your device to fell over to front or back side. And that is a good safety feature. This red button on the side can let user to release quick release plate completely. This plate also comes with two different size of screws. One is quarter inch and another is 3 by 8 inch to attach different type of devices. These screws can also be removed according to the need or you can buy a D-ring kind of screws for your facility. Link to this D-ring screw you can also get in the description below. By firmly pressing the adjustment clips on the top of each leg, different adjustment levels can be fixed according to the usage and these have three different settings. This is with fully wide legs in which user can take only low angle shots with this max height. And this is another setting in which user can increase the height and this is good setting for height and good stable recordings. But it will also cover wider base. And this is the last adjustment which is best for maximum height but it will not cover wider base and that will make it less stable. This tripod is good for uneven surfaces as well. For that you can open the flip locks on each leg and then lock them wherever you want. In between the given length or even in each section of any leg as well. And in this way it can be used on any type of surface. Another feature is you can take very low angle shots with this tripod. For that simply open this bottom part by twisting it. And make sure to keep this little part safe because it has a spring and hook inside which is very easy to lose. By twisting this part on the middle rod it can came out of the tripod. And then insert it from the bottom according to the given cut in the middle rod. Then tight it again and put the hook part on the top. And you are good to go. In this way you can shoot at lowest angle and mostly this angle is commonly used in kitchens to take cooking shots. Here you can extend the legs according to the need and can do pan and tilt. Transforming it to any orientation or even putting it back into the bag along with head won't take much longer and it's a really easy process. Just within a minute user can fold or unfold this tripod or can change any orientation which is the requirement of every user. Now this is another tool which I ordered along with this tripod to capture photos or videos with my smartphone. This is also by newer and this is 360 degree smartphone holder with quarter inch tripod mount. This holder is made up of plastic with silica gel pad on both sides with better grip for any smartphone under 5cm to 10cm wide 
That means it can easily carry a Samsung Note or Apple Plus Pro kind of heavy and wider smartphones easily. It also comes with two tripod mount spaces of quarter inch. Where to buy or for more information about this holder, check out the links given in the description along with another suggestions. This is how conveniently it can be attached to the quick release plate with quarter inch screw. And this is the demonstration how plate's bottom lock can stop the device from falling over. This is the easiest way by using the tripod you can take amazing pictures and cinematic video. Check out how I took few shots with my smartphone. I apologize for the digital noise in the video. That is only because of the low light video recording in the smartphone. Don't you think it's really smooth video recording with the help of tripod? Now check out the footage from Sony A65 camera with the help of tripod. So what do you think about this tripod guys? Please let me know in the comment section or if you have any another recommendation or any opinion. If you found quality content in this video please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe. Now let's head toward the last section of this video that is my review. My overall experience with this tripod is pretty good. According to me this tripod is really good value for money. It can be extremely better if the price goes bit cheaper. As we know there are lots of benefits of this tripod there are few drawbacks as well. First of all the part where handle connect with the head by threaded screw is not properly built. I feel by continuous attaching and detaching it, it can be cutting easily the zigzag shaped metal base. So according to my suggestion being impatient during the using of this tripod can lead it to the damage. So to keep it usable for longer life always give enough time to attach and detach all the parts of this tripod. And another thing which is also linked to the previous drawback is about the middle rod and this is not actually a drawback. A little drag or play during the horizontal panning can be seen easily and that happens just after playing with the middle rod and the head. That way the middle rod sometimes can get little tricky to fix but good thing is I found this solution by myself and that is if all the threaded joints are not properly tightened up only then this issue can occur. That means after detaching or attaching the middle rod or head, try to tighten up all the joints properly. So that was my complete review as I am using it since March 2021. I found no serious issue except that handle joint. I hope this can give you a better idea about this tripod. There are a lot more cheaper and expensive tripods available in the market. This tripod is a good choice for budget to mid-range tripod user. If you are a totally new creator or video maker, don't spend much money on expensive tripod. Try to get according to your budget or a cheap and best one, which can get your job done. Of course, you can see all the links to these videography tools in the description. And if you have any questions regarding these products or even about my all reviewed products from another videos, please ask in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I also make lot more useful videos like this regularly. If you learn something helpful in this video as your support please subscribe to my channel and that will be highly appreciated. At last not least I also like to help new creators or youtubers. So for more help or information you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and please tell me your YouTube channel or any of your working platform so that I can try to help you as much as I can. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.